those two guys who just left, um, huge factors in the outcome of tonight's game. Uh, I, give, I give Fred and, and Nebraska a lot of credit. Um, they've been in here since Saturday, and uh, I don't know if that's an easy thing or, or, or a good thing sometimes. Um, easing up on the travel, uh, they came straight from Maryland. I think we beat them in by half an hour, 45 minutes, Saturday night. Um, but, um, you know, a game, and, and to be very honest, we were really flat uh, emotionally, and you saw that in um, the insurgence of those two guys who were just out there to tie and sincere, their effort and energy was just through the roof, changed the game. Um, but uh, uh, they've got a unique game plan, uh, the way they play, uh, defensively taking away post-ups and, and rotating so hard, it's hard to get the ball in there. Um, and um, but I thought that uh, transition was huge. Uh, then I think this is the second game in a row we've had halves where we've held teams under 20 points. Uh, the DER I know in the second half was 0 .5, which is which is really really good. And then obviously the I don't know, 24 to six run at the end of the game. But um, again, I thought. Uh, uh, a night we weren't our best. I don't want to discount Nebraska, and, and uh, they played very, very good. And, and uh, you know, Fred's a heck. Fred's one of the best offensive coaches in, in, in all of basketball, and, and uh, puts his teams in the right spots. But uh, um, I thought our defense prevailed. That's what we have to hang our hat on. Is that? And, and I, th I think that uh, uh, our guys understood. Um, RJ, by the way, had two really big charges, but I thought that, uh, you know, I think our guys have to understand that uh, that that mental approach, not making scouting report mistakes, playing with energy, that's something we can control. We talked about it for the last two days, but uh, uh, happy for the win, and uh, really happy for, for those, those three freshmen. Uh, I thought they all did a lot of really good things. Three-point shooting, five for 29. Nebraska forces you to shoot a lot of threes with the way they play. What's it take for you? What's it going to take for you guys to knock down more shots from the perimeter, kind of open up things? Let me know when you figure it out. We shoot a million of them. Um, I, you know, I, it, it's, it's. Um, I say this every day. Um, RJ Melendez is a really, really good shooter, and the ball's not going in. And you know we'll see if uh, you know that's where we 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 get a, a you know Luke Goody back if that helps. Uh, we've seen Matt Meyer go on huge runs. I thought he took some really hard shots tonight. Um, you know we need Coleman's three-point shooting. He's been uh, fighting a little wrist injury, uh, but um, you know I, we got good shooters. We got to keep. You know, we got to find the right balance, and, and you know they're number one in college basketball in the number of jump shots given up. So you know you're going to shoot some of those. But to go five of twenty nine, win by sixteen, I'll take it. Coach, what was different about the approach defensively in the second half, and specifically, seems like there were some things geared to slowing down Greasel and taking him out of the game a little bit. Well, I mean, he, you know, he knocked Terrence into the bleachers about three times. Terrence just gave ground. You know, and we got out of his way. We didn't play with any physicality, any toughness. Um, you know, he's a he's a really good player. He's a six eight point guard, and and he posts up. And you know, if you if you double him, uh, they've got electric shooters. And you know, that's a common theme in, in the Big Ten is you know just clear side, post up, space out, and play bully ball. And uh, you know, you, whether it's a two or a three, um, what do you, how many attempts do you get? Seventeen. Pretty good that he gets 17 attempts and some of the three-point shooters don't get as many. I don't think we've ever seen you come out from halftime with as much time left as you did. What was behind that? What you want to accomplish out there? Oh, I pretty much got everything said in about 30 seconds. Went to the bathroom, washed my hands, and decided to go enjoy the fans and the Orange Crush and look at my play card a little bit and try to figure out what 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 would happen. I you know, I wouldn't go sit in there and re-diagram anything up or. Um, I pretty much said it in 30 seconds to a minute, and, and uh, you know, didn't wasn't really in the mood to listen to my staff at that time. So I just came out and had a few peaceful moments and enjoyed the fans and looked up and saw a lot of orange and 
realized how, how fortunate I am to be a basketball coach at Illinois. Yeah. Is this the kind of night, as a complimentary piece, you could see Ty Rogers being not only tonight but in his career where you know, some guys don't like being the like complimentary parts. He seems to relish in that role. Yeah, he's six offensive rebounds. I mean, those yeah. six extra possessions are huge. And, uh, you know, he's he's <coughs> invaluable to our team. And he's he, he works so hard every day. And it's, it's nice to see good things happen to guys who work that hard. And, He's a terrific player. He's, he, he can handle the ball. He can he can rebound it. You know, he's guarding literally five different spots at times. Uh, that versatility is a plus. Going to the way back, coach. Kind of weathered the storm of a couple of runs. One in the first half, and that one to start the second half. Uh, what does that say about the resilience of this group, uh, especially with it being such a young group and an experienced group, to be able to uh, to weather those storms and, and come away with a run of your own? We're, we're doing that. I don't. I wish we weren't, but I also understand we're playing the second best conference in college basketball, and these teams are really, really good. And uh, you're going to get uh, teams make baskets. You're not just going to shut them out. And uh, um, we would we would love to have that. But you know, I think it's a lot of growth. I think it's a lot of uh, mix and matching, finding the right lineups that work. Sometimes tonight it was the two freshmen off the bench, and it was all defense. Didn't have anything to do with. I wasn't thinking of one thing about an offensive substitution. A lot of times I do, but uh, you know, a lot of times it's just mixing a match until you find it. And uh, we got stopped. And these guys are tough and they're fighting like crazy. And you know, when you win, like I said, you win seven of eight in this league. You're doing some things all right, and you're and you're and you're getting a little tougher. Brad, usually you rely on veterans for for moments like this, but to have those guys, I think they had 15. Freshman at 15, the last 24 points, a lot of defensive things too. What does that say about them, and what, what do they going to mean for your team moving forward? Yeah, they're good. They're, they're good players. I mean, it's it's nice to have. I got a lot of confidence in Jaden. I got a lot of confidence in what in what Ty's going to do, and I know he's 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 a guy that that is going to shut down the other team's best player. I we I don't know how many games has Buck changed with his defense and and his tenacity, and I mean. You know, Tamanaga hits a couple, insert him, water cut off. And and then it leads to a couple easy baskets in transition, and, and, and he gets a couple easy ones. And um, Yeah, I mean, those guys are all really good players, and I'm, I'm happy for them. We needed them tonight, and and um, uh, in a night when we weren't our sharpest, they were. And uh, it's nice to see that. Andy? Sincere, how, how important was it for him to kind of really not miss a beat at all after kind of the lineup change and kind of be able to still... Yeah, kind of what do you guys make a deal about the lineup change? I'm so tired of all that crap. You guys think that crap matters. It doesn't. Winning matters. And, and you know, we had a lot of conversations with him. He's fine. He's playing the same amount of minutes. It doesn't it doesn't impact. It's, it's you know, the way I'm about ready to make another one. I mean, the way we're starting games stinks. And... Uh, um, you know, you got to find the right combination, the right energy, the right flow, and, and uh, we'll see. You guys make way too much. Uh, you guys have been around Warren way too long, <laughs> it's been 90 years, but um, gosh darn, it's not that big a deal. Derek, Jaden seemed to do a good job getting to the paint late in the shot clock. How much do you want to see maybe possessions end like that when things break down versus a pull-up Jay? A lot. A lot. He's elite at it. He's a lead at it. He has done that all year. There has not been hardly anybody keep that young man out of the paint. And and when he when he's we all know he can finish and he can score in there. When he starts making that one, all when it's when it's the right time, man. I mean, he's one of the. I'm just telling you, he's one of the best freshman guards in the country. I believe that. And and offensively, he lives in the paint. And I couldn't be um, more confident in him and in in that in that situation. Coach, what did you see from Nebraska's uh, transition defense? Seems like there were times when you're trying to speed them up a little bit, and they only had three offensive rebounds. Would, would you rather grab and go a little bit more and get some transition baskets? Yeah, I, I think I think it was a nice bounce. I think it was 12 to two or something like that. Um, you know, I think our reputation is pretty well established that that you, you don't want to run with Illinois. If you can, if, if you get out of South and open court, Terrence Shannon's a, a monster. Matt Meyer's really good. Jay Demps is really good. Coleman Hawkins is really good. So you've got teams that just 
no, no offensive rebound. They send four back. And, um, you know, it gets a little harder to, to get transition baskets when, uh, and that's been our MO my whole time here. So uh, we're going to take them when they're there. But, uh, you know, when we got to run offense, we've got to run offense. You've talked about Ty's rebounding quite a bit. Is, is there anything in specific that makes him maybe so effective on the offensive end? He goes. Not once, not twice. We chart every single day in practice the percentage of times that, that when we're in live situations that he goes to the glass. And our, in a perfect world, I'd love to get 40% of our misses back. But you got to get guys going. And, and Ty goes every single time. And his, his go rate is incredible. Well, when you go opposite and you know that 70, 75% of your shots missed are going to go opposite, he goes to that area. And he's just, he's very intelligent. He's long, he's strong, uh, and he's pretty tenacious with it. And uh, uh, one of the things I loved about him in the recruiting game is, is when we recruited him is he's tenacious on boards for, for his size. He never lets it bother him. I know you said you got a lot of good shooters, but you still put them up in a, a pretty good clip. Is there any balance there to follow it back, or do you want them to keep putting that up with the wall? Every game's it's got its own deal. Tonight, you know, Nebraska's probably done the best job guarding big boy at Purdue. Um, I, I mean, they're doub you're doubled before you catch it because they rotate on the baseline so hard. And it, it's, it's very challenging to get the ball in there, knowing that you're, you're doubled. Sometimes you're fronted. You've got a seal high low. Uh, tonight was a game where you've got to move the ball and uh, put them in closeouts and drive it again. Uh, and that's why they're they've given up the most jump shots in the country at any level, at any level. And so you've got to uh, uh, you got to be ready to make them. And and uh, we didn't do it at a very good clip tonight. Okay, thank that's you. It. Thanks, Coach.